Hi guys. Hi guys, uh, it's Sabine with the IGTV talk. Um, so this is a series on things I wish I'd known. Um, and it's about things as leaders wish we'd known when we were in our teen years. And I guess I was sitting thinking about this because I wish I'd known a lot. Um, because I only started to know Jesus when I was about 16 or 17 um, and I made a commitment to Jesus just before my 18th birthday actually um, but growing up um, I didn't know Jesus I didn't know who he was I guess I saw him as this guy that did good things and we were taught about in school um, yeah Ari I quite liked Ari I actually did uh, the six days of creation in Ari and just thought it was like nice stories that kids should know and um, it wasn't until college that I really started to explore the meaning of life and you know I know that can sound a bit corny but I feel like we all get to that age where we start asking questions like why am I here? Who am I? What's the meaning of life? Um, what's the purpose in life? Um, do we all have the same purpose or do we have specific purposes and yeah how do I know what I'm doing is worth doing um so I guess yeah I started thinking about those things and thankfully um God put people into my life which meant I found those answers and to begin with I thought I'd find the answers in qualification um I worked really hard at school um, to do well and, and look good. Um, I was actually really badly behaved um, right up until the end of my education. Um, and I was, I was performing, I guess that's how I'd put it, uh, because I wanted, I thought my worth, my purpose was in other people telling me I had worth. Um, I thought my worth was only as much as other people told me I was worth and um, so yeah I I sought other people's approval and I did that by seeking relationships, um, trying to achieve well at school, taking on different um, images, different sort of personalities even, um, you know dressing different ways and trying different things and trying to fit in with with all sorts of people that um, I, I never quite fit in with um, and I think a lot of it was me it was seeking this deep down purpose and, and seeking understanding of why am I here what is this all about and am I, am I worth it you know am I you know you hear L'Oreal and because you're worth it and all the, I won't flick my hair because it's up and I can't be bothered because I'm lazy but um, yeah like we get told because you're worth it and, and all of these things so I was pursuing the purpose of life I guess and like we we heard in Ecclesiastes you know I tried loads of different things really unhelpful things sometimes some you know not damaging things but definitely not helpful um, and and all of these things sort of one by one showed me they were empty. You know, no matter how much I achieved academically, I still needed to achieve more. Or if I did well one year, I needed to do better the next year. And, and you're constantly on this continuing trend of, of having to do more and be more. Um, friends, you know, you, there were new crowds to constantly entertain and just this image to keep up and it was exhausting. And And then I think I really started to worry because I tried all of these things and and I got tired of it. I got tired of not being able to be myself. And and I didn't even know who myself was, you know? I had people telling me, you know, you need to go and find yourself, you need to go and yeah, just try all different things and, and discover yourself. And I just had no idea I, because my identity wasn't founded on anything solid and it always changed. So when I was pointed to Jesus it was kind of mind-blowing when I started to meet people who said, I am a child of God. That is who I am. I am made in God's image and that gives me worth. And they were saying these things and I thought, 
okay, good for you. You know, how do you know that? Um, that's just what you believe. Um, yeah, but I, I started to see that this message had impacted their life and, and seriously impacted their life, changed the way that they thought, changed what they wanted to do. And they weren't perfect, don't get me wrong, I've seen them do a lot of things that are less than perfect and they weren't better than anyone else, they weren't, they, they didn't even say that they had all the answers, but they pointed me to the one who does, and that is Jesus. And the verse that I want to bring to you today, that um, this sort of message of finding purpose in life, uh, that I, I wish I knew when I was, I was a lot younger, um, is the verse is, from Ephesians, uh, and it's Ephesians 2 verse 10, uh, and it says this, for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And I remember coming across that verse and I, I just, it gave me so much peace to know that I'm not a mistake, there is a purpose for why I'm here, and I'm, I'm God's handiwork. He he specifically crafted me to be me. So I, I, I no longer had to try and fit into this crowd or achieve this well at school or find love in a relationship because I knew I had God's love. And I knew that I was worth something because I was made in God's image and I was his handiwork. He'd taken the time to carefully craft me. So I didn't need to try and change myself anymore. I didn't need to find my purpose because here it was. And, and God looked for eternity past into eternity future. And he saw me and he made me. He chose to make me. And it changed everything. It, it does change everything. It still does today. I'm in my early 20s now and at uni and um, I see a lot of people around me still struggling with this idea of, of what is life about? Why are we here? What is the purpose to life? And I'm so thankful, so thankful that I have the answer and that it's not my answer and I'm not the answer, but God has given us the answer in his word. And if you guys ever doubt why you're here or whether you're the way you should be or whether you need to change or you don't quite fit in, um, remember, you're exactly who God has made you to be. Your likes and dislikes, the things that you're good at, the things that maybe you're not so good at. God's made you that way. And there's a purpose behind each one of those things, the good things as well as the bad things. I've learned that the things that I'm good at, perhaps, like, I am quite good at science, I guess. That's meant that I could get onto the university course that I'm on. And this university course is gonna allow me to become a nurse and to help people in the future. And the things that I'm not so good at, sometimes I get a little bit low and sometimes I struggle with my mental health. And, and that's an area that I struggle with. But God has put people in my life and more importantly, himself in my life so that I can come. So I'm gonna so I'm going to leave you with three questions just to think about um, or to talk about amongst yourselves this week and just spend some time in prayer with God about. So the first one is this, where or in who do you find your purpose? And what do you allow to shape your identity? Is it things like academic achievements, friends, how many friends or followers you have or likes on Instagram or whatever whatever you guys use to measure popularity or anything like that. What do you allow to shape your identity? And finally, do you know what God tells you about your identity as a child of God? Do you have those promises in your mind and in your heart? The Bible talks about hiding God's word in our hearts. Do we hide his promises and his truths about us in our hearts so that as we go through life we're not thrown about like a, a boat on the waves another bible verse talks about that we're so that we're firmly fixed uh, in our identity as a loved and cherished child.